smudge on the lens. But uh, this is what I got. It's the final finished product for my magnetic stir plate. Just a cheap stair light container um, with a snapshot lid. Old computer fan here mounted with some 1032s. Uh, 12 volts DC power because it's going to be going in my RV trailer and 12 volts is readily available. Uh, so I didn't need a power adapter or anything for it. I got two real nice neodymium rare earth magnets centered on the fan there. And just a simple 555 PWM controller with a NPN MOSFET there. And uh, we'll give it a quick test roo and see what she does. And that's camera action. All I've got is one simple trim pot here on the front for controlling the PWM pulse width modulation, which in turn controls the speed of the motor, which in turn controls the speed of the magnetic stir rod in the beaker. Not like that. There we go, once it gets locked on. Woo! It's like a spin. Dump some liquid in there, it's always fun. Grab some bug wash here. Just for a test. Now this apparatus is not only useful for mushroom culture techniques, but of course also widely used in all laboratory fields such as Oh my god. <laughs> There you go, folks. Shows you why not to uh, start up your magnetic stir plate machine without liquid in the beaker. Busted a damn hole. Anyways, it works. You get a different vessel, and I'll show you. This sucks. We have propeller action. Okay, alrighty, this is the Magnetotex Revision 6 testing live. Got the magnetic stir vortex going on. You can see it start drawing a vortex down. And I always like to do this as a cool experiment. Turn it down. And watch the way the acrylic dances on its way down. Shows you the excellent blending force and action going on in here. Total cost zero dollars.